Shalom from Israel. Well, this Shabbat, Shabbat Balotcha, we learn that it's not easy to be the leader and to do it by yourself. After all the preparation in Mount Sinai, we counted the people, everyone knew exactly the spot where he's supposed to sit and where he's supposed to go. In the center, we built the Tabernacle, the Mishkan, and we surrounded the Tabernacle with the, the big camp and waiting, moving towards Eretz Israel. But then, right after we start the move, even though the children of Israel received the Torah, and they saw what never, ever, no one else had the opportunity to hear the voice of Hashem. Now, the moment they start to move, they start to cry. The first cry was for nothing. They didn't even know why they are crying. But the second one was, they're crying for food. They start to remember how great it was, the small fishes, the vegetables in Egypt. And now only man who comes straight from earth. We want more than that. We want to eat. Maybe it's even better to go back to Egypt. And in this point, we see that for Moshe, it's too much. He says to Hashem, I cannot handle, handle this alone anymore. So we learn that even though Moshe, he prayed for the children of Israel and he said to Hashem after the golden calf, I don't want me to be again to create a new nation. If it's not them and me, I don't want to be part of your book, he says to Hashem. Now, when the children of Israel received the Torah and they start to cry for food, he said, I cannot carry them alone. So we learn that being a leader, no matter how great you are and how close to Hashem you are, it's not easy to do it alone. And even Moshe gets to a point that he says, kill me, I cannot handle it anymore. What a desperation. Wow. And actually, he has the answer in his quest. I cannot do it alone. Means if you had others with you, it will be easier. Therefore, Hashem says to Moshe, collect the 70 elders those who can help you with bringing your spirit and to spread it all over the camp, then people will not deal with meat. They will not cry for food. They will feel again that the spirit is the issue. And therefore, he's collecting 70 elders, but there was a mistake in two of them had a property in the camp. They didn't camp to the tabernacle to get the property, the spirit of Moshe. And Yeshua runs to Moshe and he says, Master Moshe, you have to do something. They got the spirit from you, but in the camp. And listen to the answer of Moshe. He says, Me then, I wish, Kol am Nevi'im, all the nation will be prophetess. Wow. It's not for me. I'm just receiving the spirit from Hashem and I want to give it. I wish everyone had the opportunity to feel, to know what I know, he says. So I'm not care, says Moshe, that those Eldad, Umedad, they got the spirit in the camp. I wish everyone will have the same spirit. And this is exactly what we are promised by the prophetess in the ends of the day. I will pure my spirit, says Ishayahu, 
towards the nation. It will be spread all over. And the knowledge of Hashem will cover the land like the sea. That everyone will know me, says Hashem. So we pray that the wish of Moshe will be soon here in our land. Shabbat Shalom from Israel.